All right, guys, welcome to Elevation Coaches Team Call. It is February 29th. We're not going to have another call on February 29th for like another four years, or unless it doesn't fall on a Monday or something. <laughs> but uh, um, today is a really cool day. Uh, Carl, did, Carl Deichler did something pretty special, and he actually released a 22-minute hardcore challenge pack today instead of tomorrow. Uh, it was a nice little surprise. I w I've been watching um, the Coach FAQ all day long looking for when the links are available for people to use to order, and I noticed the Challenge Pack links were up, and I was like, holy cow. And then I started, I started seeing other coaches post online, hey, Carl Deichler released it a day early. So if you guys have people who are interested in the 22-minute hardcore Challenge Pack, uh, either the, Shake the one that comes with Shakeology or the one that comes with um, – the performance supplements, that is available right now, and I'm still waiting on the base kit and all the other stuff because I'm trying to get my uh, my website all all done up. Yeah, I actually tried your website to link because I was going to try and take your link. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, your link actually did not bring me to the 22-day hardcore. Uh-oh. I already ordered mine, so I <laughs> ordered it when I saw it on <laughs> – Saw that was up. I knew it was going to go quick. All right. Let me see where it takes me. Uh, it took me to P90X. Challenge packs. Hey, it's working now. Well, I'm there on your website. But once you click, like, buy. Oh, yeah. Here, yeah. Let's see if it works. That's weird. I copied the link right from. Yeah. I figured okay. I'll tell you. Today. Oh, well, it works for you. It didn't work for me. Um, my link's way cooler than your link. <laughs> Maybe they were having difficulties. I mean, because literally, I couldn't even log in on my Beachbody account for a while. Oh, yeah. well, yeah. If it was within an hour or three hours of the announcement that the Challenge Pack launched, there was probably. A oh, I literally bought overload. it like five minutes after it announced it. Like, I knew I was like, I gotta buy it like now. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, seeing what Kyle posted today in uh, Elevation Coaches was really interesting about the. The 22 oh, veterans yeah. who commit suicide every day. I'm wondering yeah. if that was, I'm wondering too, if that's the reason they made it 22 minutes. Like he was also saying, cause he has a, he has a buddy that has like amputated his leg. Mm -hmm. So he was trying to see if he could do 22 day hardcore. And uh, my husband actually came up with a good idea. He's like, why don't they do like the modifier? Like a person that ha is, has been amputated. That would be, that would have been amazing. Like, Really cool, right? And I, yeah. I told him, I was like, you should just email Beach Body. I'm pretty sure they'll. <laughs> <laughs> and I never, I didn't, I haven't looked at, you know, about three or four of the workouts. So there, there might be one in there, but they don't show the workouts that I did the first three weeks. They didn't show any amputees. But now, that, how are the modifying? Is it, is it like, can someone that's amputated on the foot leg, can he actually do it? Say that again. Like, uh, Kyle has a buddy that wants to do it. Mm -hmm. but he, he has like a prosthetic leg. Yeah. So he's not sure if, if it's too intense. And so I figured out, I told Kyle, I was like, you should reach out to Todd and ask Todd because he has the program. I mean, it is, it is intense. There, there's a lot of burpee style stuff in it, but you can, you can modify the burpees and they show you how you can modify the burpees. Okay. Um, so it's so not like too intense on your legs. I guess that's what probably he would be asking. No. I, I would say it's no, it's it's more intense than a twenty one day fix style workout. Okay, got oh. So, but um, what certainly. About sanity? <laughs> no, it's not that intense. Oh, okay. <laughs> Be, <laughs> just because of the, you know, uh, you get two sixty second breaks the entire workout. That's it. Oh, okay. Not bad. So yeah. But uh, but it's pretty it's pretty intense. It's it's not a cakewalk. But insanity is a whole different monster. So yeah, like I'm running his challenge group for him. So he wanted me to message all his people on Facebook, <laughs> tend to be him. And I'm like, no, I talk too girly. Like that's not gonna happen. I was like, you need to talk to them, and I'll help you with your challenge. Yeah. I'm not going to run it for you. See, in the challenge group, you can, you can tell the other guys, oh, my gosh, I love your boots. <laughs> like, what? K Kyle, is everything okay? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, well, I, I figured I'm going to have him use the app. Have you heard about the app? 
Yeah, my challenge tracker. Yeah, I did it for my last challenge group. Oh my god, it was horrible. So I'm not doing it this time. Yeah. Piles, because I like it how you could schedule everything for the whole entire month. Oh yeah. But a lot of people were getting like they weren't checking it because it doesn't like it's just an app, and they were more on Facebook than an app. So yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna email my customers and ask what their preference would be. But I do have a lot of customers who don't have Beachbot or Facebook, so that's an option for them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like it because you could do your fa- yeah, like your workouts. You can log your workouts in and your Shakeology every day. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. It's it's convenient to a point, but I noticed that a lot of people started backing off a little bit on it. So yeah. And you can't have two coaches running it. And me and Tara were running our next one together. Oh, okay. That's too bad. All right. Well, let's, uh, before I wanted to touch on how we can take advantage of the month of March, you know, March is their spring break. Um, but there's also some really, really great opportunities. You guys saw the challenge pack promotions that I posted in elevation coaches. There's 22 minute hardcore. Um, the three day refresh is still, um, discounted as well as Pio. Um, so there really is a lot of opportunity. And today I wanted to talk about um, how you can promote 22 minute hardcore, how you can have success with that. Um, and as well, I wanted to talk a little bit about on how success is an uphill battle. And as new coaches, some of you guys might already be experiencing this, the nose, the, the, when people ignore you, um, and, and I'm going to make an analogy when we get into that, um, that ha- that connects it to your fitness journey. That'll help it make a lot of sense. So, so first off, I just wanted to discuss as a team, just some highs and lows for the week. So if you, I'll share, I'll share, um, my, my high and low for the week. Um, and then you guys can be thinking about yours. And if you want to share, that would be great. Um, but my high point for the week was hitting my goal of success club 20 for the month. Um, I will actually be at success club 22 by the end of tonight because, um, Emily, Matt decided he does want to do coaching, uh, after that, after that call. So he's like, he's like, you know what? I got to place my order of Shakeology soon and I don't really want to pay full price. (laughs) So I told him and he had a, you know, he was contemplating doing 22 minute hardcore and, and I messaged him on Facebook and said, you know, bro, you might as well, you know, 22 minute hardcore just came out today. You might as well get the challenge back and they'll waive your 39.95 sign up fee because the sign up cost was a concern to him. And so that waives his sign up fee. He gets his Shakeology and he gets his, his discount on his future orders of Shakeology. So that was pretty cool. So I'll be at success club 22. That was the highlight. Uh, of my week is hitting my goal of success club 20 and it goes to show that when you envision something when you put your mind toward hitting a goal and then you make a plan according to that goal that you can absolutely achieve it and you can achieve it every single time (laughs) if you stay focused Uh, my low point um, is something I've been struggling with for the last six weeks actually Um, and, and I think this was like God's way of just telling me to wait on him. And I actually, I got up uh, probably like four or five days ago when the alarm went off and I, I hit the snooze button. And when I went to get back into bed, I, I usually put my good leg in bed first and then my bad leg, like, or my bad knee. I don't know why. I guess I was just out of it. I put my bad knee in bed first and then just flopped in the bed. And like my wife, she's like, what are you whimpering about? I was like, I just screwed up my knee again. (laughs) So I'm going to go to a, uh, a, a, there's a company here in town that specializes in athletic injuries and joint repair and that kind of stuff. Um, So I'm going to be probably going and getting an MRI done on my knee. Uh, So that was incredibly discouraging um, because, you know, in exactly 14 days, we're starting a 22 minute hardcore or I'm starting a 22 minute hardcore challenge group and I probably won't be able to participate, which is incredibly frustrating um, with as driven as I am with as competitive as I am and as goal oriented as I am. That is a, that is a big downer for me. 
And over the weekend, it really affected my coaching business. I did not, I didn't answer emails this weekend. I didn't, I didn't uh, create any resources this weekend like I normally do. Um, I think Emily and I had a call on Saturday. That was about all I did with coaching. Uh, I was kind of, I was disappointed in myself. So that's going to change this week. I'm not going to let this injury get me down just like any setback with your nutrition or your fitness. Um, I'm going to use this to tell a story and, and use my story to encourage people. So I'm going to find out how to take um, my old age and having a bad knee now. <laughs> and I'm going to use that to inspire people. So that's my low. What about you guys? Anybody, any of you guys want to share a high or a low that you experienced this past week? Um, I'll go. Okay. Um, my, my high was I had a goal of since I got five, you know how I told you I want to do it for like the whole entire year. Yeah. Well, I made eight. So I made more than. Oh, whatever. sweet. <laughs> and, but the, the sad thing is my low is I haven't been worried like really like focusing on my coaching this month. I kind of backed off a little bit because I got sick. And then when oh, I got yeah. sick, it took over like entire week of my uh, week. And then I kind of like felt a little bit backwards a little bit with it, but I was kind of yeah. happy. Well, that's awesome that you hit your uh, success club goal. That's great. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I was kind of worried there for a second cause I made it today. So, well, yeah, I saw, what was it, like two days ago when I, when I exported the, uh, or actually on Thursday, I exported my uh, drill down summary, and I noticed that you were at four success club points. Yeah. And, I was and like, I, I just did one more, <laughs> one more. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, figure this all out today. And so I finally figured it out today and got one person, so... That's awesome. And then, and then you're, you're qualified for, um, the Beachbody lead program now cause you're an Emerald coach and now and then, how does that work? Now, does it renew every month? Like I have to hit success club every month five. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then technically I wouldn't get anything cause today's the last day of the month, right? You, you will start getting customers from Beachbody in March because you hit success club in February. Gotcha. Oh, okay. So that's how it works. Yeah. Okay. I was wondering about that because I was like, well, I only got one day left. So it's not really going to matter. I mean, so I didn't know <laughs> that's how it works. I'm actually, I'm getting like five customers per week from the lead program. That's awesome. Yeah. And it, well, when you, when you reach success club 10, they, they start giving you more customers. Yeah. You get so, the Shakeology ones too, right? Or yeah. Something. And you get Shakeology leads and you also, um, you qualify for the coach lead program. So if someone just goes to Team Beachbody and signs up as a coach out of the blue, they will assign you a co assign you a coach into your downline, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. And that usually happens like once every two months for me. Gotcha. Now, the higher rank you are, do, does the more like people you get, or is it based off of only your success club points? Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's only based off success club points. So if you're in success club, t if you get success club 11, you get the same opportunity to get as many customers given to you as the person who hits success club 100. Gotcha. Okay. So. Sounds good. Yeah. Anybody else? Jeremy, how's it going, bud? <laughs> those are just some serious DJ headphones. I got to get some of those. <laughs> I'm good, don't worry. What's that? Doing good. Good deal, man. All right. Anybody else want to share high or low, or shall we get into uh, our oh, sure. hardcore? I'll share mine, Todd. I, uh, my high uh, this weekend is I have my first non-family member commitment to uh, my challenge group. Nice. And uh, they already had the programs, and they didn't end up buying anything from me at all. But just getting someone in there and knowing that I'll have the opportunity to have them as a customer in the future and market to them in the future is huge. Um, Lowe's, definitely, because I started my invite process this week. You know, there's some people, family members, even best, like some of my best friends that I haven't heard a word of. Like, what is going on? Like, <laughs> I knew I knew that, that would be a part of it, so it's just keeping myself focused on why I'm doing this, and, um, 
keeping uh, pushing on, pushing forward. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely – that's something I noticed right off the bat was, like, my family and close friends – were the first ones to just say, no, you're stupid. That's never going to work. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, cool. <laughs> uh, I'll go talk to some strangers now. <laughs> so, and that worked out a lot better. <laughs> so, all right. So let's get into 22 minute hardcore. What, um, the biggest source of information on 22 minute hardcore, um, go to coachfaq.com. This is where I go whenever I have a question about anything, whether it's coach related, uh, coaching related, or whether it's customer related, or whether it's product related or psychology related. There's just thousands and thousands and thousands of questions that are answered in here. And you can type in anything you want. You know, when does 22 MHC release? And you can search for that. And here you go, 22-minute hardcore launch details. All right. And this is where you're going to see stuff that answers a lot of the questions that you might get from your customer. So what is it? Um, there's some info on the email collector, which was um, it's going to expire tomorrow, so you're not going to use that. But um, here's the schedule of when things come out. And then you see there's links in here to other frequently asked questions. There's there's program and pricing, which has, you know, just general information about everything. What is the workout schedule? Six days a week for eight weeks. What size, you know, how much workout space is needed? Six square feet of space is recommended. That's a joke. <laughs> Two feet by three feet. <laughs> you need more than that. So don't ignore that, that answer. But just browse through here. You can... You know, there's a ton of information. You can see here's the, the details on all the cost of everything. You can see what it would cost your customers, a club member, uh, what it would cost you as a coach. And you can see challenge pack commissions here and just every bit of information you could possibly want on 22 Minute Hardcore. Um, here's information about equipment and details. So there's here's all your workouts, your, your deluxe workouts, your... You know what equipment you what equipment you get with it. So you get the portion control containers, you get a shaker cup, and you get this is my favorite part, and this is what we uh, badgered corporate for in the uh, 22 minute hardcore um, test group. We told them you have to include that PT sandbag with the challenge pack, or else people will not buy the challenge pack. They will go for the deluxe pack if you include the sandbag in that instead. So I'm really glad to see that they're giving away the, the sandbag for free with the challenge pack this month. I don't know if that's going to continue. Um, but some free gifts that you can um, promote as a coach is that PT sandbag. You know, if you say, if you use my discount link um, this month, uh, you can get that, the free 20-pound sandbag that comes with it. You'll have to fill it with sand, but you still get this, the sandbag for the workout. Um, and the other free gift is the cold start workout and the hell week challenge card, which is, I don't know if I have it right here. I think I do, but it is, it is absolutely evil. This is the hell week challenge and it has a schedule where four days out of the week you're doing three workouts and on three days out of the week you're doing two workouts a day. So it is nuts. That is cool. So this is, this is um, after week eight. This would be week nine. So it's kind of cool. Um, so, so those are some things that you can share with your, the people you're talking to about 22 Minute Hardcore um, that they can get for free when they use your discount link. So that's, that's always exciting for people to get some free stuff. And it really... You know, when they order through you, they can feel like they're getting a bonus because they're, they're ordering through you. So I, that's how I present it is when you order through me, um, you can get the PT sandbag for free this month and the cold start workout as well as the hell week challenge. So, and then, um, as far as promoting, and this is the part where, um, I would encourage you guys to use your imagination. 
Uh, Tiffany, you, you and your husband live on a military base, correct? No, we don't. We live, oh. we live around three bases. So okay. An hour away from one, 30 minutes from another, and then like another 30 from another. Okay. So, but I mean, a lot of the, your relationships are with military wives, military, you know, friends of your husband who are active duty as well. So this, this yeah, is, he's doing, he's doing an all guys one with military guys. See that. And, and that's great. And if you guys, if you guys know anyone in the military, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them a video of 22 minute hardcore. If you go to YouTube and you go to team beach bodies, um, YouTube channel, you can look up the promotional video for 22 minute hardcore. And what you can do is you can send that video to people who you know, who are active duty or, or who have, have been in the military and just ask them and say, Hey, will you watch this video and let me know what you think of this workout just based on like this three minute video. I want to get your opinion since you were in the military. So that is a great way just to start a conversation. Another way that what Kyle's doing is, okay, I don't know, I guess I could explain this, but um, in the military, they have like platoon sergeants, like people that are in charge of soldiers and they do PT together mm. every morning. So what yeah. he's doing, he's getting all his buddies that are platoon sergeant or squad leaders, which they have their little team and they get together every morning and do PT. So oh, what wow. he's trying to do is he's trying to do the program and have them do the program with their soldiers every morning as their PT. And so he does that, but right now he's in a different job. So he doesn't have any soldiers, but when yeah. he gets back into that, that's what he's plans on doing. That's awesome. See, yeah. and that, that's a great idea. If you're familiar with military, uh, military structure, you know, you can create like a 22 minute hardcore PT challenge. I mean, in fact, that's what I'm going to call mine is the P, you know, 22 MHC yeah. PT challenge. You can even get like a group, like go on base and like do a group like outside during the summer. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I was like, just, just go out in the park. Yeah. There, there, there's just a ton of opportunity, a ton of ways to get creative. Um, and, the, and the best way that to do that is to j really just get the word out. And that's through personal contacts. I love the idea of asking someone for their opinion on something because it is, it's passive. It's like it's uh, non-committal. You can just say, hey, I just want to get your opinion, see what you think. And, you know, maybe they just say, holy cow, that looks awesome. What is that? And, and you can explain. You're like, actually, you know, I'm planning on doing this, um, this eight-week group where we're all going to focus on this program. It's going to be pretty fun. We're calling it a PT challenge, the 22-minute hardcore PT challenge. And, and that's what I'm going to do this week is focus on getting out those invites and asking the guys who I know have been in the military for their opinion. And also, uh, in line with what Kyle did, um, when he said, and he only posted this in elevation coaches, but Kyle said he's dedicating his entire eight weeks to the veterans who have committed suicide, the 22 veterans a day who commit suicide. And I thought, I think he's also thinking about doing like all the proceeds to go to the veterans, the 22 veterans or something like that. That's what he's talking about doing. Okay. See, so like the proceeds go to. Yeah. Well that, yeah, that, that, see, that's amazing. If you want to say, you know what, we're going to, that's a great idea. Actually, Tiffany, you just brought something to mind. You guys ever heard of diet bet? No. Diet Bet is a website where you get a group together and you all put in to a pool of money and whoever loses the biggest percentage of their body fat gets first prize, which is like 50% of the pot and then second gets like 30 and then 20%. So this would be a great opportunity with 22 Minute Hardcore say, hey, on top of our challenge pack, all of us are going to put in 20 bucks and then whoever gets the best results and we're going to vote as a challenge group on who gets the best results when we share our results. They're going to get 50 or they're going to get 50% of the earnings. And then second place is going to get 20% and third place is going to get 10 and the rest of it, we're actually going to donate to, you know, the, a, a veterans organization that helps, you know, um, military service members re, reintegrate into uh, civilian lifestyles. So that's, that's a really great opportunity 
to give back or, or you can just say, Hey, 50% of anything that I earn from 22 minute hardcore, I'm going to be donating to a certain fund that supports military service members. That would be a great idea as well. And what was the website called? Uh, dietbet.com. Like they bet? Actually, yeah, diet, B-E-T, yeah. And they actually reached out to me and asked me, they're like, hey, we're looking for YouTube personalities to run a, a diet bet. And they said, you know, we'll put it on the front page of our website, we'll promote it. Okay. And I just, I didn't want there to be any conflict because I, I would be earning 20% of, of whatever the pot was as someone who organized it. And it's just, that doesn't fit Beachbody's policies and procedures. So I just yeah. wanted to stay away from it. You always give that away to charity though. Like, you know. that's true. Yeah. So I just didn't want, I didn't want anybody questioning whether I actually gave it to charity. <laughs> Are we allowed to do booths? You know, like how like all these other like, you know, like a bridal booth. Are we allowed yeah. to do stuff like that? Yeah. I, I see coaches do it all the time. I actually, when I started as a coach, I actually did a uh, Shakeology home party <laughs> where, cool. where I invited people over and I made like three or four different you know, blended up three or four different recipes with Shakeology and had little Dixie cups for everyone to try the different flavor, the different shakes I made. And then, you know, we watched a video on challenge groups and, and then a little, a short, really short video on coaching. And I had, you know, five people at the house. I think one guy got 10 minute trainer, just the program. One person or, and two people got Shakeology on home direct. So super awkward for me and way, way so far outside of my comfort zone. Like the, it, you know, making my first YouTube video I thought was outside my comfort zone. Doing a home party was the worst experience I've ever had in my life. But I wanted to set the example for my team and say, I'm willing to step outside of my comfort zone this far. So you should be willing to as well. <laughs> Yeah, so. I was asking because me and Tara were thinking about doing a bridal, like they have this bridal expo thingy. Yeah, we were thinking about signing up, but we're like, I don't know if Beach Body allows that. Like we're like, they do. <laughs> <laughs> they absolutely do. So, so yeah. And if you guys have any ideas on how you're going to be promoting 22 Minute Hardcore, be sure you post that in the Elevation Coaches Facebook group because I would love for us to bounce more ideas off each other. Um, in order to, to reach out, be able to reach out to more people and inspire them to take action and, and change, change their health and change their fitness, uh, which ultimately, you know, it's changed my life. I know it can do the same for them. So if we go from, if we get, if we get behind 22 minute hardcore with that motivation of seeing lives changed, you're going to see a huge opportunity for gro not only growth in your business, but just growth in the relationships that you're developing with these people. And just, um, I've, I've said this before, there is no m amount of money that can touch the email that I get that says, Todd, I don't know what I would have done without you. Like I, I had zero hope and, and you gave me hope when you invited me and I, and helped me experience these changes. There is no amount of money that can touch that. And that's, that's one of the main reasons I do this. So if you can go, if you can make that your foundation, you're going to be incredibly successful with 22 minute hardcore and you're going to have an awesome, awesome March. So going into, does anybody have any questions about 22 minute hardcore? If you do, like I, like I just showed you guys, coach FAQ has got, tons and tons of stuff and also you can go into your um your coach online office and there's training and talking points um social social tools you know there's pictures that you can share on your social media and there's also a challenge group guide that will give you um, a guide of what to post every single day in your challenge group which is pretty cool i usually switch them around and change them to fit sort of my style but it's a it's a good template so on to our next topic of success being an uphill battle. What is very common, and I see this in a lot of new coaches, is 
they will come out of the gates super, super strong. And um, they will do tons of invites. And in 30 days or in 60 days, it's as if they never existed. And this is something that I was aware of when I, when I first started out as a coach. My coach, Wayne, told me, he's like, Todd, if you want to achieve amazing things with Beachbody, he's like, you have got to work your butt off. And he goes, and you're not, you're, you're not going to be able to work your butt off unless you have a reason that is big enough to do so. And, you know, it was about a month before I actually earned my first commission as a, as a team beach body coach. And I've told you guys before, I sort of did things. If I could go back, I would do things differently as a new coach because day one, I, I was looking to, okay, how do I start a website? How do I make YouTube videos? And I started doing all that stuff before anything, before I even, even spoke to anyone. So it was 30 days before um, I helped someone buy any product. So I, I sold a P90X program. I got a $28 commission or something like that. And I was like, that's when the light bulb went, went off. I was like, holy cow, if I just, if I just talk to people and share with them, like th there is some huge potential here. And that's when my goal and my vision just got huge. I was like, okay, I don't like our current situation with our kids going to the babysitter. The babysitter is not raising our kids or not taking care of the kids the way we would like them to be raised. So I got to get my wife home. And that's when I went, to, went into overdrive. And I'm not saying that this is what you guys have to do, but your efforts need to be on par with your goals. And so I was putting in two, three, four, five hours a night on Beachbody, making blog posts, making videos, learning how to get that stuff to rank at the top of Google, messaging people on the, the P90X uh, fan page, messaging people on the Insanity fan page. I must have spent probably about two to three hours each night of those, you know, two to five hours. Um, I would spend messaging people from the Beachbody like pages, the Beachbody fan pages. And you're not allowed to just message people you're not friends with anymore on Facebook. So if you try and do that, it's not going to work. Um, you'll, get, you'll get slapped and put in Facebook jail. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany knows what that's about. Always <laughs> so, tag people in a group. Yeah. So, so if you want to learn how to avoid Facebook jail, just Google Facebook jail. <laughs> so, but... Um, but I cannot tell you how much rejection I experienced, guys. I cannot tell you how many messages I sent that were never, ever, ever replied to. Um, here, I'm going to show you an example. Uh, actually, I don't know that I will because this is going to go on YouTube and it'll be public. Um, but there's a person I went to high school with. I have messaged them probably... I messaged them over the last four years about three times about a challenge group. And then I messaged them on personal stuff. Just, you know, about, oh, I, I just saw yet a, a new baby. She is, she looks amazing. Congratulations. Uh, I saw that you, I, I saw you post a Bible verse on your wall and like, did you get saved after high school? And I, I message them and I can see that they've seen my message and there's still no reply. It's like, okay, this is, I, I get it. I'm just going to keep setting my example, sharing my story, and maybe someday this person will reach out to me. And that's what you guys have to, to what I did is I learned to emotionally disconnect from the answers people were giving me or the, or the cold shoulder that people were giving me or the ignoring the people ignoring me. I learned to emotionally disconnect from that because it says nothing about you as a person. It's just where that person currently is in their life. I've messaged people who I was terrified to message and they're like, oh my gosh, this sounds amazing. What do I need to do? I was like, oh wow. I literally, one of the girls that's been in our, my last like three or four challenge groups, I messaged her and she ordered her challenge pack within 20 minutes of me sending her that first message. And I never would have guessed that she would have been that eager, but she was, and she's been an amazing, amazing challenger. So you, 
you just never know. And that's why I'm constantly in the process of reaching out to new people, connecting with new people, speaking to new people, building those relationships, and filling that funnel of opportunity for when the time does come, I can ask them, hey, I don't know if you'd be interested, and this is going to sound totally out of left field, but I'm running this 21-day group uh, to help myself stop eating pizza, and maybe that's something that you want to do too. Do you think that'd be something you'd want some information on? You know, I'm looking for that opportunity to share that with them. And they're already seeing my, my, my wall where I'm talking about Beachbody. I'm sharing meal pictures. I'm sharing, you know, how my family is involved or what coaching has done for us as a family. They're seeing this stuff. And when, they met, when I message them, it's like, oh, okay, that makes sense what he's doing now. So, and, but I, I want to tell you guys, it's not easy. And if I have ever given you the impression that, it is easy to succeed, that it is incredibly easy to hit success club five every month or just get two success club points or just to help one person get a challenge pack each month. If I gave you the idea that that was easy, I apologize because it does. It takes an incredible amount of work. But when you put in that work that is, that is on par with what your goal is, with what your why is, you're going to see incredible returns, not only monetarily, but in satisfaction. Beachbody coaching brings me an incredible amount of satisfaction, knowing that I earn an income by making a difference in people's lives. That is amazing. And I am willing to go through all the no's, to go through all the don't message me agains, to go through all the ignoring, to go through the, the you know, all the follow-ups to go through the, the five steps and, you know, spending two days on step number two, I'm willing to do all that because I know it makes a difference in people's lives. And I know that when I make a difference in people's lives, my income grows and my family's freedom increases or the opportunity for freedom increases. So it is definitely going to be an incredible uphill battle. And if you are willing to put in the work and emotionally disconnect from that uphill battle and just keep focused on what's at the top of that hill, then you're going to be able to push through those discouraging situations with, with uh, what is that quote from uh, Winston Churchill? He says, if you can move from discouragement to discouragement with enthusiasm, you will find success. And that's what I do. I move from discouragement to discouragement with enthusiasm. It's like, all right, I got another no. That's okay. Who else wants to change their life? Who else can I help? Who can I be? Who can I, who can I impact today? Because I know if I do that, I'm going to reach my goal. So I, ho I hope that helps you guys, or I hope it motivates you and gives you um, a clear understanding that if you want to succeed, it is going to be difficult. But if you look throughout history at all the people who have left a legacy through the people who have achieved what they have wanted to achieve, their, their journey is littered with failures and it's littered with uh, setbacks. But they still reached their goal because they were refused to relent and they refuse to give up. And that's, that's something I'm not willing to do either. I've shared with you guys before that this, uh, this past three months have been probably the slowest three months in my business income wise in the last three years. And does it concern me? Yeah, initially it did, but I know that with success comes setbacks and I'm learning from those setbacks. I was like, okay, I can see where I made a mistake and I can see that my actions over the course of the last 18 months are what I'm are the, you know, or what I'm seeing these last three months are the results of my own actions and leadership over the last 18 months. So I'm learning as I go, as you guys will learn as you go, but I'm still focused on that prize. I'm still focused on the top of that mountain experience, the, experiencing the setbacks, the slip ups, the falls, the failures, but I will reach that top. And I know you guys can too, if you believe it and you stay focused. So there's, there's Abigail. <laughs> you want to say hi, Abby? Look, that's Emily. That's Tiffany. Are you looking? 
well, why do you want to be behind me? All right, so she's just going to be incredibly awkward right now. All right, so do you guys have any questions or comments? I do, but it's not regarding what we're talking about tonight. No worries. It's a free for all. It's a free for all now. I'm done. <laughs> okay. All right. So I got my first um, guy to sign up. So Ooh. he bought the Body Beast. Yeah. Um, and uh, I know nothing about Body Beast. So can I do the Q and A, or should I get the program off of on demand for twenty bucks and study it? Because he's oh. going to be a challenge group. Um, you can, you can go into your coach online office and go into the, uh, the, uh, I believe it's the marketing, marketing tool section and they'll have product kit and equipment details like, like this here or training and talking points. Yeah. Cause he also got the shakes and I know nothing about those shakes. I only know the performance line. Oh, he got the, the beast supplements. Okay. But he has well, to take a big before and after, and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I'll get well, back with you on that. <laughs> yeah, if you if you do have questions, post post those things in Elevation Coaches. But um, but there there are directions on the uh, on the containers for each one of those, and usually the base shake. Um, gosh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah. I'd have, I'd have to go back and look on my website about. Um, and look at the nutrition facts because usually you want um, sim the the fuel shot is what you want to drink toward the end of your workout and after your workout because that's dextrose. It's just simple sugars that will help protein synthesis. It'll carry the protein and BCAAs from the base shake and it will allow that protein to um, – those amino acids to transfer into proteins and, and be able to begin repairing muscle. Anyway, uh, some bro science stuff. <laughs> so I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope I'll be able to help them out. Fuel, but... fuel shot is after your work, toward the end of or after your workout. Creatine, you can take that any time of day. I like to mix it with fuel shot when I was taking it. I take creatine after my workout. If he's taking super suma, he can do that at the beginning of the day in the morning. He can take that anytime. Okay. Uh, fuel, uh, base shake is just a protein supplement really. So I usually did that before my workout because the branch chain amino acids are good for recovery in that base shake. Okay. Gotcha. But they're all flavorless. So it's kind of, that's why I didn't like them. Uh, like I didn't know how to mix them. They were all flavorless. Yeah, I'm a little worried. <laughs> so with with like the the fuel shot, he can he can add it to you know some kind of or, like orange juice or something because that'll that'll also be good for recovery. Um, so does his program come with all the information to tell him what he needs to do with those shakes? I don't know. I can't remember. But if you it, you might do some searching on YouTube to see what Sagi Kalev has to say about the Body B supplements. I might have to do that then. Because I'm sure there's like an, I'm sure I've seen a video with him and Carl Deichler discussing the supplements. That's cool though that a guy's going to be in your challenge group. I know, right? <laughs> Kyle's. I'm hoping Kyle's goes like really good where I could like just slip him in there and he'd be fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little worried because we have what 14 women in our challenge group and I'm like Great. <laughs> and everything's so like girly. Even my banner is like a peach color so I'm like Great. <laughs> <laughs> well if you wanted to put him in one of my challenge groups. Yeah I was thinking about that. I really was. I'm just waiting for Kyle's challenge group to see how it goes. And if it goes well, then I'm just going to slip him in there. But if not, I, I was thinking about being like, Hey Todd, need your help. <laughs> I was like, help, need your help. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Anything else guys? That's it. All right. Let's go kick some butt. I got to, I'm going to finish up website stuff tonight. I got 18 emails to answer. And then I'm going to make a video. 
and my wife and I are going to do a workout tonight with my, bu- with my, with my bum leg. I'm going to do uh, P90X3, the challenge since I, since I can do push-ups and pull-ups. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for getting on the call and we will see you next Monday. And if you guys have any questions throughout the week or if you need help or you feel like you, you need a phone call to, to work something out or work past something, let me know. I'd be happy to do that. All right. Yeah, sounds good. Thank all you. All right. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye.